Hello, and welcome to another PC game review. Now from my last PC game review, I got a little bit of feedback, and one of those things was to show a little bit more about the graphics options. In Prince of Persia, here are your graphics options. Yeah, so this probably wasn't the best next PC game to pick for PC specific reviews, but uh, maybe next time? Prince of Persia is almost a standalone title from Ubisoft in the Prince of Persia franchise. While some still view it as the intended reboot to the franchise, the Prince of Persia games that followed after returned to the same universe of prior entries, leaving this Prince of Persia to look like a spin-off. However, quite a spin-off this was indeed. Gameplay is perhaps Prince of Persia's second most positive feature. While the style of gameplay has changed dramatically from prior Prince of Persia entries, the game has a new feel that is still decidedly well done. Platforming, the game's primary premise, is surprisingly easy to get into, and anyone can start to feel like an acrobat within several minutes of practice. The game's platforming controls play akin to directional quick-time events, and while it may seem easy at first, the game starts to string together some lengthy and varied combinations that begin to lead to misses. The challenge never even comes close to insurmountable, but there will be times you just couldn't have seen that coming. The game mitigates this frustration by removing all death from the game. Yep, yeah, you heard me right, you cannot die in this game. Elika will save you regardless of the type of death, so rest assured you will progress, even if it takes you many tries. In fact, Elika saves you from dying in combat as well. And on the topic of combat, the combat system is simplified into a very nifty combo system. Without spoiling it, let's just say if you experiment with the combo system, it's surprisingly rewarding. It may get stale for combo artists after the midpoint of the game, but it is nonetheless well executed. The content for this game is a bit of a balancing act. The main adventure itself is around 8 hours in length, but is some of the most full 8 hours of game you'll ever play. While you may find the collection of light seeds to be tedious, the game only requires you to collect so many in order to complete the game, which is consequently just over half of the existing total. This makes it actually a minimal requirement, and the bulk of your time will be spent platforming through a land rife with sights to behold and fighting four recurring bosses. And while the game has extras, like an art gallery, and unlockable skins based on your seed collection and completion of the game, the real bonus content is the conversation between the main character and Elika. Yup, for once, this game's surprisingly deeper content comes in the conversations. Wanna play a game? Come on, it'll be fun. The world's about to end, and you want to play a game? Might as well die happy. What sort of game is this? Well, I see something, and you have to guess what it is. How can I guess that? You just guess. Brass. No. Rock. You? This is a stupid game. Things Did you recognize that voice? Mm-hmm. That's Nolan North of what we popularly know as Nathan Drake from the Uncharted series. This optional playful banter between the main character and Elika is not to be missed, and I highly suggest you strike up conversation with Elika whenever you can, adding a layer of content to this game that is entirely unexpected. Presentation is easily Prince of Persia's most positive feature. It proves that art can be more important than graphics, and five and a half years later from its release, it still looks fantastic. Be prepared to explore beautiful vistas that are just gushing with distinctive art styles, kindly wrapped in a black outline that just plain works. To top off the resistance to age, the game's music wraps you further into the art style, and is a perfectly meshed example of artistry overtaking technology. While modern technology allows graphics to look this way, and music to sound this way, it's the artistic touch to this game that truly shows us that technology is nothing without the power of imagination and creativity. It is an absolute shame that what started out as a reboot was quickly forgotten, for I find this to be the most solid modern Prince of Persia game since the initial reboot in 2003. It looks great, plays great, sounds great, and builds a relationship between the two main characters that count as content. I give Prince of Persia a 9 out of 10. That's it for today. I hope you subscribe, and I'll see you on my next PC game review.